Welcome, artists of all ages. It's Miss Fortner here from Benfer Elementary. Today, we are going to make a fun paper sculpture. I was inspired by paper sculptor Richard Sweeney. Uh, today in my video, I use lots of different colors in my paper sculpture. You can use any color you want, just one color or two colors or six or seven colors like I did. I like lots of color. Today, your materials that you're going to need are black construction paper, glue, scissors, colored paper, cut in dish strips. The first one I'm going to do is I'm just making two tabs on the end, fold little rectangles in towards each other. That's gonna create just a little flat line across your page. The next one I'm just rolling on top of itself and it creates a spiral and I'm always folding a tab on the end that's going to help you glue your paper to your base which our base today is the black page. This one I'm just rolling on top of itself. It's going to create a spiral but it's going to be a square shaped spiral. This next one I draw a line down the middle vertically and then I just cut little lines all the way to that middle line and then I'm folding every other square up and then I'm going to flip it over and fold those squares up. And then you hold it straight up and you can fold those squares down and it creates a checkerboard look. The next one I'm doing is accordion. So you fold up, flip it over, fold up, flip it over, and you keep that pattern going. And that creates your accordion or star step fold. The next one that I'm doing is you create a tab at the top and then you cut a line vertically down the middle and then another line down that line and another one down the other side and it creates little strips for you to glue anywhere. The next two little green sheets I'm creating I'm just folding circles and gluing the tabs at the end. Now you can get started on your piece. You're going to take the tabs and glue them at the bottom. This one I just glued a little U-shape with the circle inside. I'm gluing the checkerboard down. I'm gluing the spiral down, both of those. I decided to do the square spiral glued on both ends. The stair step I'm gluing down and I decided not to glue part of it on the page. But I did part of it on the U-shape. This piece is my favorite because you can take your strips and you can glue them anywhere you want. And you can twist them around each other, you can make braids. I like this one a whole lot because they come back to the same starting point. This piece I rolled with my pencil, made my tab, and glued it to another piece on the paper. This one I did a large stair step and I'm gluing two ends on either side. You can repeat any of these steps and combine the steps. So I did the little strips along with rolling the paper down my pencil. Then I'm gluing my tab once again and then I'm going to take these pieces and I'm just going to twist them around other pieces on my page. This one I did the same as drawing the line down the middle and doing squares, but I did little tiny pieces, rolled it into a spiral, and then as I put it on my page, I pushed the pieces down that I cut so it looks like fringe. That's a great texture to add to your paper sculpture. This piece I drew a spiral and I just cut along the pencil line. I decided to write the word fun across my paper sculpture because it is so much fun. So I just drew a block letter F and I glued it down on top of one of my paper sculpture pieces. And then I decided to do another spiral, but this time a square shape. 
So I just drew squares inside of each other and followed along the lines with my scissors. And then I flipped it over so that you don't see the pencil lines and I glued it down on the page and picked up the center and pulled it across and I'm only gluing in just a few areas. Next, I drew my block letter U and cut that out and I glued part of it on the paper and part of it on a sculpture. And then I'm gonna draw my N. And notice I didn't like it to begin with and that is okay. I cut out what I did like and then I took my eraser and I erased my pencil lines. And I glued part of it on the base and part of it on a sculpture. And the next thing I drew was just a star and I decided to put that on the top. And there's your sculpture piece. Thanks so much for joining me today.